When I went away to college, I decided my happiness in life would be as a result of my own effort and not be the gift of God. And so I set out to accomplish certain objectives, and if I accomplished them, I thought I would be happy. I wanted to get good grades. I wanted to be involved in sports, student leadership opportunities, and I thought it might be a good idea to have a few dates before I graduated from MIT. Well, I did very well on that last objective. Actually, I did very well on all of the objectives. I was even on the basketball team at MIT. Now, some of you are thinking, MIT basketball. I've never heard of them in the tournaments that there are, and you know you may never hear of them, but, but I got a chance to play. And yet, here's what I discovered. Even in the moment of success, it was no big deal. In my senior year, there was an award ceremony, and I was receiving an award that I had hoped for for a long time. It's called the Carl Taylor Compton Prize. My name was called. I started up the cement steps there in front of the columns in the dome, the symbol of MIT. And it was almost as if those steps had turned to wood because I heard a distinct echo saying, so what? Big deal. So what? And I thought, good grief. If even in the moment of success, it's no big deal, it's going to be a long life. Well, I went back to my hometown, Rockford, Illinois, thinking about what then is the secret to satisfaction in life? Now, that summer, I was dating a young woman named Kathy. As many know, uh, my wife's name is Judy, so you know the end of the story with Kathy. But that summer, I wanted to be with her. And if I wanted to be with her on Tuesday nights, I had to go to this religious meeting. It was sponsored by Campus Crusade for Christ. And so here was my trade-off. Religious meeting. Ugh. Kathy. Woo. Well, the woo went out, and I went. And I got a whole lot more than I bargained for because I saw in the faces of those people at that meeting the joy of Jesus Christ. Long story short, one night that summer, I sat up in bed and said, God, that's what I want, a relationship with you through Jesus Christ. 